Hi, weight loss surgery peeps. I am looking out to you, my dear, dear friends of the weight loss surgery community. I need a miracle. I went over to my doctor's office today to um, to get my pre-op blood work done that I needed to do fasting, and there was no time like the present when I woke up. And I decided to just ask if I could weigh on the scale in my surgeon's office so I could compare it to mine. That's where the scale obsession comes in. Well, the nurse, his nurse came out to get me between patients for them, and when she heard my voice, which is raspy, I always get this way. I get this way from allergies, even. She said, well, we have to cancel your surgery. And I said, what? <laughs> you know, this is a woman, by the way, who does not answer when you call. She does not do her job well, so it really bothered me that it was so easy for her to say that. So she said, I said, no, I'm not canceling, I'm not canceling. So she went, I said, I'm going to be well. I feel much better today, by the way, than I did yesterday. And um, I don't have a cough, and I don't have a fever, and I'll be well by Monday. I at least deserve the opportunity to determine if I'm well by Monday. So the doctor came in to see me, even though I had no appointment. And at first, well, first he explained to me why. I mean, it makes perfect sense that if indeed I am sick on Monday, it is counterindicated to do the surgery because they stick a tube down my throat and they have a machine breathing for me during the surgery. And I would be more likely to get pneumonia if, in fact, I'm sick and there's something with, wrong with my lungs. Right now I'm not feeling it in my chest, and I get things in my chest easily. So... My son also had this, you know, virus. He brought it home, and he was well in two and a half days. So, um, anyway, at first, the two of them stood there saying, first he said, well, let's see if you're well by Saturday. Well, that worked for me. I mean, I'm not going to risk my life over this. But um, then, like, she's looking at him, giving him messages with her eyes that all have to do about with schedule and notifying people and... And so he said, well, I think you should be examined today to see if you're fit for it because we need to know by tomorrow because we need to notify everyone and it's it's inconvenient and blah, blah, blah. Like they were talking about schedules and inconvenience and notifying people, which led them to not be able to see the person, me, standing in front of them, someone who has pushed with everything she has to get jump through all the hoops required to get this surgery and to get it at a time that's convenient for us because we have a small business, we're wedding photographers, We can't. I can't just do this every time because when people book Meg and Michael, they don't just book Michael and Meg if she's okay or unless she's recovering from surgery, they book us both. So, and we're great by the way, but I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. And, you know, he was trying to push, they were trying to push me kind of to agree to drop it, and I wouldn't do it. I said, he finally agreed to let me, you know, report to him tomorrow. Well, I left the office in tears, and I came home, and I contacted my primary care physician, and she said she would see me Friday at 1 p.m., and I wrote the letter of my life to my doctor saying why I hoped he would give me the chance to get well. And how important this was to me. And that even though he said cavalierly, oh, you can have it in a month, that makes a huge difference in my life to have it in a month. This is the time that I want to have it. And this is the time I need to have it. So, that's where you guys come in. I need a miracle. Prayer circles, uh, affirmations, mojo, magic, whatever it takes. Do it for me, guys. I'm doing my part. I'm guzzling airborne, emergency. Um, I'm doing the nasal sinus rinse thing three times a day. Um, you know, drinking lots of water, resting. Uh, thinking good thoughts, all I can do, and if you'll all help me with this, um, I do not want to come back here and report to you on Friday that my surgery is canceled. I want to come back and report to you that my surgery on Monday is on like Donkey Kong. So, what can I say? I thought I'd be crying during this video, but instead I'm being as positive as I can, and, um, just wanted to let you know what's going on, and, uh, I love you all. Love all your comments, and I really need you to... I feel like there can be power in the human thought, and if we all converge in this thought to make this cold go away, that it will run.
run for the hills. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.